Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy. And I'm Paz. And this is Frozen Crown, who I've done twice before, but I don't think you were here then. I recommended them. You, you recommended King. them originally, I yeah. think, yeah. Um, they sent me a nice message, actually, after I did that, mm. which was nice. Um, but they got a new album out called Crowned in Frost. Looks like that. Just out, literally, last month, I think. It's not, um, I think it's only... 12 months or so since the first one is it really yes it's not not that long however having said that um back in the day 80s or something like that bands used to do an album a year didn't they yeah more or less eight, album, right? tour. Album, album, album tour album tour album tour, tour. that was and their full time sort of, job and we, we sort of moved away from that so if a band do 10 songs a year we think oh that's quite a lot isn't it but that's going back to what it used to be yeah surely anyway um, hot off the heels of that of their debut. Is this I detect one? a rant just under the surface there. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, musicians there's, there's, there's a, there's a rant there. just bubbling under there. Yeah. I could I could feel it. Um, so so I, <coughs> what I'm expecting is more of the same as the, as the debut album, really. Oh, okay, that's what I'm kind of expecting. I have not heard word of this because I think YouTube just recommended it to me. Probably because I've seen their videos be before and it just. Oh, look is a new one kind of thing um but if they deliver more of the same i'll do more which was very, very happy with that <laughs> since i like the right. last stuff so yeah. much yeah um let's see what we get do we get it's definitely let's give it def a whirl i'm definitely doing a let's see what we get t-shirt definitely gonna have to do it <laughs> you give it a whirl on the back yeah no, they'll only be me yeah they'll only be me wearing it and you <laughs> if i give you one <laughs> t-shirt no. uh, yeah hand a t-shirt <laughs> just a t-shirt whoa steady on <laughs> no need for that right so yeah don't know it but of course we do know Frozen Crown and like them sound like a manic metronome and it's too loud I can just do it the, <laughs> the, the, the production overall is very tight is that the guitars seem to be uh, I don't know if it's compressed to oblivion yeah I don't, so I don't, just, I don't yeah. know I know what you mean
polished but I've got a few problems and I'm going to be really unfair <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on snare's too loud I just couldn't get over that I liked the instrumental break more than the rest of the song because it was different because the rest of it I don't know but it's just certain things like the way they've filled her voice out with multi-tracks of harmonies so they fill their voice right out They're, it just kind of charges along and doesn't with no feeling to it and I am being picky here I am being unfair because by, by by no stretch is it like a terrible song or anything um, but it just it, it's like one of those things that just exists without leaving a, I don't think it'll leave a, a, an impression behind kind of thing this is mm. my take on it I liked when it went to the instrumental break I liked that the tone of the thing changed don't know I, I mean I've only heard it once so at the time I wasn't really thinking about it so I mean we're in Unleash the Archers territory here and um, to do a comparison Unleash the Archers it's more interesting to listen to that one just seemed to literally go ding 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 on not like you know without going anywhere am i being unfair because this is how i feel um i feel like i'm being unfair i feel like i'm being picky um but yeah i think what because we're used to listening to a lot of japanese bands doing this power metal and so much they throw in the changes this is doesn't seem to be that much in the way of Chain, changes, no slowing down, no stops, no starts, etc. etc. Et um, so, I don't mean it by it charges along. Um, the production is probably a stumbling block because it it's all really clear but also seems to be really tightly. It's guitar, I don't know, I, I'm struggling to describe it. It seems like really tightly rung guitars as if you. You, you hear them through an old transistor radio type of sound and I think individually so the drums sound a bit tupperware guitars sound a bit strangled but put, them all, put it all together does it work and I think for this sort of music I think yes it does but I, I, but, but I really like the stuff I heard from them a year ago so I've changed or they have 
<laughs> I didn't know, and, and like I say I am being picky and I'm probably being unfair because it's not like I didn't like it um, you know it, it's got, I did like it and it did give me an. Un, I was thinking about Unleash the Archers um, within a very short amount of time when I was listening to it which is a good thing um, I just don't think I'll remember it tomorrow mm. I think the the chorus especially when you've got um, what's it Gla- uh, Giada and Federico trying to read it there uh, when they do their harmonies I think that really really works I think that, yeah, that's great um, is, I'm just trying to think is it is as good as would that make it on good in comparison is, is would you put that on their debut album is it as good as some of the other similar type of songs on their debut album well they've, they've released that, it as their single and made and done a video for it and everything it so someone seen. thought it was and to be, to be fair the, I thought Frozen the debut album was stronger or well, strongest when it was faster right because um, because of the soaring melodies uh, they, it's they not a speed had. thing I don't know. I think I could, what part of the problem is I could not get over that snare sound. <laughs> you know, all I could just hear it going. <laughs> you know, mm. you know it, it, I couldn't get over it. Um, so that's my bad. But there must be a reason for that because I listen to a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, the, yeah. The so the but it had been cleaned up. Everything had been cleaned up and, like you say, made tight. Yeah. And and. The, the, and the, I, I like I like the chorus. I, I like the. Uh, the use of you know both their voices together I think really works really well the middle break as you say I thought it was stunning great solo uh, oh, overall <laughs> but then when the song came back after the instrumental break it, that was like yeah oh, we're out we're back mm. it, you know it was it, it was exactly the same he could have, he could have done with a sort of a, a stop and so, something I think maybe because we so used to listen to Japanese stuff that throw a lot more ideas in, into it this thing to hit a level straight off within the first couple of seconds and didn't really deviate that far from it. I think we had a similar discussion with Rhapsody of Fire, didn't we? Yeah. It seems to be ah, on a level for the, all the way all the way through. Um, and for the most part it it, it works. Um, and the production, I don't know, it just it seems to be so it, yeah, it's, well, it's, 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 it's an odd one. It didn't grab me, and, I, and I'm not happy saying it <laughs> <laughs> because it be, that's you know, the because they, they, uh, uh, they, uh, their debut album was in my top ten. Yeah, at the end of last year, I thought. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so, pleasant um, enough, hmm. but um, yeah, didn't totally grab me. Had I think again, the uh, I don't think it was good as the sum of its parts. So that um, was recorded mixed and mastered by one guy is that, is that the name Andre uh, Fusini um, up there so I don't know who did their first album um, hmm. so this is definitely one for let us know what you think yeah I'd be interested to hear, hear, hear some more off the new album because to be honest it doesn't really sound that Sonically, it's not really that different from the first album, but something's something's changed. And that's why I don't sound. feel right saying it because I feel like I'm being picky. Yeah. But the bit that I'm being picky about, I can't get over. Mm. It's like a, there's there's like it's one percent out, and that, and that whatever yeah. that one percent is, I'm struggling to get over. Um, mm. I, did, I didn't have. I really have a problem with the drums. Yeah. They, 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 it just there's, there's no resonance in there. It's all. Um, these need cleaning. <laughs> As if there's like there's no there was they're taking all the reverb out 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 of the song out of every instrument. Like you say, timed yeah. everything down. <laughs> well, all, all you ever see in comments is how is talking about the looks of the of the the women in the band. And yeah. I will never review a band on how they look. Um, I mean, I might if it was like Guar. Then, <laughs> then you're gonna then you're gonna comment on how they look, but I will never review yeah. a band on how they look. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely let us know because it, it, I'd it, like to be able to understand it, what myself, what it is I'm struggling with. I think it's that, that gut reaction, is it? I saw King when they did their first video came out called Kings. I thought that's great. That emailed you, put this on your channel, and you did. 
would I have done the same with this song? I don't know, debatable. Hmm. Is it that difficult second album? <laughs> so we'll, we'll see I, I, I will still be purchasing it um, because the first one was really good let us know <laughs> they probably won't be as chummy with us this time no I don't think they'll be sending me a nice, a nice message this no. time no. they'll be sending me uh... yeah, no, you're yeah. wrong <laughs> yeah basically yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're wrong yeah Okay, let's know. See you soon. See you now. Bye. Bye.